Hey everyone, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got cursed. How dare he. But in this episode, we're gonna continue on forward throughout the game. I Thankfully, the frame rate's going a bit faster than it usually does, so... No way for that. But anyways, go into big airplane mode because it looks weird in this. Woohoo! I believe I can... Oh. I see a shine spider over there. Don't act like I don't see it. How on earth do I get to that spring? I wonder. Oh, Mario! Come back and look at that! It's a door. It's the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Shiny. Let's move closer. Look at the door. Wait, where was I stopped? Goombella! Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal? Huh? What could it be, you think? I don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. It's a chair. Nope, that's not a chair. Nope, not a chair. What is this? What is this magic... magicry? Magicry? <laughs> Now this is shiny. Professor, what's going on? The map. It is alive. Mario. Map edition. Huzzah! Look at the map. Hello there. What is this? Is that what the crystal star looks like? Game breaking! Graphics. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move you can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you will learn a new special move. Mm hmm. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Um. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal star has appeared. And that shining light. It looked as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Um. Ah, I see. You understand, it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light you saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mark can for what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... well... I thought like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No thanks. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No thanks. <laughs> um, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Outstanding! Outstanding? I mean, astounding! <laughs> this map has radar-like functions and now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Vogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Pelomenos did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll get there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Pelomenos. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? Princess Peach. 
from Princess Peach. Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mayo? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Um, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's set it. Off to Petal Meadows, you do go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that is, end is Princess Peach. Like every Mario game? Aren't you coming, Professor? Heavens no, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach in that suspicious game. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? Got it, Professor. Where am I? We're off. Oh, those are some interesting relics you have in the back, Professor Frankly. Looks a star, a moon, a weird mouse thing. And another star? Oh wait, that's a sun, not a star, oops. Sun, moon, thing, star. And then you have this weird little vase. And then that is a little tiki thing. I, I don't think that's anything important. Alright. Wait just a moment! Excuse me, I was just about to get ready to go. Oh wait, oh. Hello there. You got Power Smash. Mario, it's Gary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have employed, employed, and depending on the badges you have equipped, you get much more powerful. So, the wait, do I hire badges then? <laughs> is that what I mean by employing badges? Yeah, I, I, they actually, I have to actually pay them in badge points to wear them. What's important is knowing that what the effects would be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks. Are you absolutely sure this is the last time I asked? Do you want to practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower power. Flower points to use the power smash move. And, oh, oops, skip that. Then battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's... I almost read that as hopping. Here's hoping you find that pipe to Petaminos. Uh, thank you, Professor. Ah. Alrighty, my badge points are taken. Down below we go. Yep. And now we know where to go, because... Hello there, wonderful pipe. And weird paper airplane. In we go. Oops, what, what, what did I do? Blub blub! Ouch, that hurt! Oh boy, what did I do? Blub 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 blub! Who just up and whacked someone's tootsies like that? Blub blub blub! Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who! Blub 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 blub! Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy! Blub 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 blub! blub. He's in a world of hurt! Oh, right you are. Blop, 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 blop. I'll give him a taste of the authentic trample. Oh, I've seen enough. Um, wait, wait. How does the phrase go? Never mind. Hey, Mario, you remember that? F what Professor Frank? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Yes, a Goomba shield. Always wanted one. Hmm. Okay. Go with this guy first. And Goombella, you attack too. Bye bye, one hand. Ow! You slapped me! With a tentacle. That's hot. I mean, what? Ah, oh, I messed myself up. That's what I get for talking about hot tentacles. <laughs> Go away, second hand. And now he's on the floor. Aw, didn't get the mushrooms. Hmm, power smash. Acrobatic Mario at his best. 
Showing all the crowds is stylish. Bunk his head. Bunk it real hard. Power smash. Aya. Nah, yeah, I have three crowd members now. It's like my actual audience. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, head bonk. Now that was stylish. And he's already done. 20 star points. Very nice. Blue blue! It's gotta hurt. What are you looking at? Don't drown! Ah, uh, boop. I said don't drown. You can't listen, can you? Uh. Well. I think I'll end this part here. Because this is the entrance to the next world. So. I'll see you guys. In the next one.